here's what I'm thinking. It's January 10th and the fault in our stars is not in my hands, which makes me extremely depressed and very frustrated. Now usually I love Amazon, they're basically my heroes, but right now I'm kind of frustrated with them in the same way that two year olds get frustrated with their moms. They really want to play with their favorite toy, but instead they have to go to like the dentist to make sure that their teeth are healthy. Now it's not really the mom's fault that the kid's unhappy, but it would have been nice if the mom had given the kid more than, you know, like a two minute warning before they had to get their coat on and walk out the door. I pre-ordered this book over the summer and they didn't tell me until yesterday that there was an issue with the way that I ordered it. But right now I seriously am like two years old because I'm just so frustrated and it's only a day. Like I'll probably be getting it tomorrow. Ugh. In other news, it's a new year and a new semester, which means that I'll be writing the wrong year at the top of my papers for the next, like, four months. And I have new classes with new people. Now, I found out yesterday that one of the girls in these classes I haven't seen since my junior year of high school. Not really. I mean, we may have seen each other in, like, passing at Walmart or something like that, but I mean, we haven't had an actual conversation. Now, I should preface this story with two things. One, I'm a lot more confident and comfortable in my skin now than I was five years ago. Not that I was, like, terribly insecure that I'm super confident now, but I mean, there's a difference. Two, I did laundry at my dad's house house last weekend and I dribbled a little bit of laundry detergent in my bag. Now you wouldn't think that those two facts would go together for one story, but hey, my life is nothing if not surprising. When I see somebody that I haven't seen in a long time, I like to take the opportunity to let them know that I'm not as strange as they may have thought I was before. Whether or not that's actually true is irrelevant. We were having a nice conversation, everything was going really well, we sat next to each other for the class, but then I spilled my coffee. I'm a girl that spills things literally every day. And because of that fact, whenever something is about to fall over, I have like spidey senses so I can just like reach out my hand and stop it. And that's what happened this time. I spilled a little tiny puddle on my desk. Like not enough to pollute my papers, not enough for it to be dripping on the floor. Just enough for me to be staring at it wondering how in the heck to make it go away. The way I figured it, I had three options. I could whip a tampon out of my bag and try to soak the whole thing up, but that's really gross and would probably get me some strange looks. I could use the sleeve of my hoodie to absorb the mess, but I like my hoodie way too much to pollute it that way. Or I could pull out a piece of notebook paper, even though it wouldn't be very effective, it would kind of be a drippy mess if I tried to soak up the whole thing, but I mean it was better than nothing. I reach into my bag for my notebook, and surprise! There's a kitchen towel that I shoved in there that morning to keep the laundry detergent spill from my notebooks. Which means that I'm sitting in the middle of this class trying to pretend that I'm a normal person, and I pull out a full-sized kitchen towel to clean off my desk, and then I shove it back in my bag. The girl turned to me laughing and said, you keep a towel in your backpack? And then she laughed, so it wasn't like I had alienated myself or anything, but it was probably really awkward looking and I was a little embarrassed, so it was just hilarious. I don't know what I would have done if I had seen someone else doing what I did. But this story doesn't even begin to cover the encyclopedia of ways that I can be accidentally awkward. I mean, my roommate my freshman year of college got to the point where the awkward things weren't even so awkward anymore because she was so used to it. Every night before she went to sleep, she used to crawl into her bed and say, oh, this is my favorite part of the day. One day, I crawled into my bed and I actually said the sentence, Angela, I think about you every single single night before I go to sleep. Of course what I meant by that sentence was that I think of it being her favorite part of the day before she goes to sleep because it's my favorite part of the day too. But it came out so much weirder than it was in my head. Which leads me to what I would like to be our comment conversation of the day. What accidentally awkward things have you done? Or what things came out a lot weirder than they were in your head? Until next time.